Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Intel has been promising CPUs based on their 10 nanometer process for over two years now. And along the way, it's been wrecked with nothing but delay after delay. Currently, the plans sit in time for the 2019 holiday season, meaning as late as December of next year after they made it sound like they were squeezing its date from 2018 to 2019. And being that Intel is on their 45th plus 14 nanometer process with Coffee Lake Plus or S or technically just Coffee Lake with more cores, which was Kaby Lake with more cores, which was a refined 14 nanometer Skylake, the company is clearly having issues. In comes a report by semiaccurate.com claiming to have sources suggesting that Intel has killed said 10 nanometer process. That same day, Intel replied with a tweet that basically stated it wasn't true and that they're still on the timeline they made during their last investor call. Now, that is actually pretty telling, considering Intel almost never responds to rumors like this, and of course they can't lie to investors, so it's something I'd mostly believe. Now, semi-accurate has actually been right about their delays for years now, but that of course doesn't necessarily mean anything for the future. With that said, maybe there's a chance that Intel plans to roll back some of the features they promised, like 2.7 times the density, or simply make a different die and still call it 10 nanometers. Though I'm not sure of the legal ramifications of those, given they do have to be honest with investors. Either way, one thing is for certain. Intel is having some serious issues with their 10 nanometer process, and after two years of delays, plus the supply issues of their current 14 nanometer chips, there's absolutely zero guarantee it won't be delayed further. Basically, I wouldn't hold my breath. Next up for today, if you haven't heard, G-Sync and SLI aren't friends. Well, sort of. After seeing a ton of complaints from the NVIDIA forums and Reddit concerning massive drops in frames when SLI and G-Sync are used simultaneously, Extreme Tech decided to run some tests. What they discovered is pretty interesting. What you're seeing here are some comparisons from members in the NVIDIA forums with and without G-Sync enabled. Keep in mind that all of these are using SLI, it's when both G-Sync and SLI are used together that users are seeing these frame drops. And as you can tell, they are huge frame drops. What Extreme Tech did was test a few of these games on their own, though I will say that they used the 60Hz 4K G-Sync monitor, so they did have to forcibly keep the frames low with super sampling on two 1080s. What they found, though, were some really weird results. For Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, the discrepancy was pretty big for DirectX 11. But when they used DirectX 12, it completely disappeared. Moving to Far Cry 5, there was a difference in the higher frame rate you get, the more discrepancy they saw, leading them to believe it was a timing issue, which actually does make sense. The problem is whether Nvidia can even correct this or not, given it might be a problem with the uh, physics and not something exactly fixable. I'm also curious if it's an issue with their newer cards, given the updated bandwidth the RTX cards have for SLI. Unfortunately, I don't have the cards to test myself, but I think it would be interesting to see. Either way, it's clear they have an issue. The hope is that they won't just brush this under the rug and instead face it head on. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Are you hopeful for Intel's 10 nanometer process? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe for all things gaming hardware. And as always, have a great day.